Well, the Suez Canal is a 120-mile piece of water which connects the Mediterranean to the Red Sea and provides the shortest sea link between Asia and Europe. The 400-metre-long, 200,000-tonne vessel ran aground on Tuesday, blocking the entire passageway. Now, diggers are currently trying to excavate the bow of the ship, while tugboats are attempting to pull and push the boat free. Specialist salvage companies have been brought in to try and refloat it. One option could be to dredge the sand and silt below the ship and remove fuel and cargo on board in an attempt to lighten it and help it float away. Now, Sky's Helen Ann Smith has the details. In the Suez Canal, problems are stacking up. A super tanker blocking a marine superhighway, causing a supersized problem for trade worldwide. The Ever Given's been here three days now. A team of tugboats are trying to shift it. The concept is that you remove the sand and the silt around the bulbous bow, the bit that's in contact with the canal, and try and remove as much as possible so that the truck tugs have got a better chance of pulling the vessel back off um, the the edge of the canal and back into the centre of the canal. And this is why the stakes are so high. A maritime traffic jam with a massive price tag. 12% of global trade uses this route, nearly £300 million worth every single hour. The impact is global in nature. As time ticks by, stuck vessels tick up, over 250 now and counting. To move goods from China to the UK via the Suez Canal is just over 10,000 nautical miles and would usually take 21 days. Those stuck could reroute, perhaps round the Cape of Good Hope, but it would add seven days and almost 4,000 nautical miles to the journey and cost nearly £300,000 per vessel. It's a costly choice some are already taking with worldwide ramifications. Equipment that's going onto a manufacturing line doesn't get there at the time when the manufacturing line lead, needs it. And that just creates a delay in manufacturing. So it can have ripple effects across the whole e economy because a lot of inventories rely on just-in-time delivery. And this is obviously going to affect that. If these aren't the chairs you like with the table... And those ripples will be felt by British companies and British customers. The Cotswolds company is one. It has £1.7 million worth of furniture orders stuck on 100 containers. Yet more problems after a year of pandemic and pain. Our teams have been working really hard uh, for the last couple of days and will be over the weekend to make sure that all of our lead times represented are accurate and that all of our customers are updated proactively. The retail industry as a whole has had a well-publicised, extremely difficult year. Um, a lot of uh, shops are looking forward to reopening and they're doing so with the prospect of not being entirely sure when the products they're selling are arriving. Experts have warned of structural problems if the vessel remains wedged. Those involved say strong winds cause this. It'll need more than just strong will to move it. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News.